Welcome back, this is Serial Snacks, and today I'm looking at Sonic Ethers version 10 RC6, his unbelievable shaders for Minecraft 1.4.6. And today I'm going to show you the quick install method for it. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy, just like the 1.4.4 and the 1.4.5. Now if you have issues like bla a black screen or problems with your textures, a lot of times it really is just your video card and not having the drivers up to date or just your video card not supporting this type of mod. Now, I will say that this mod seems to run a little better than the last one. It actually, I get higher frames per second in this than I did in the previous version. So, that said, let's install it. Now, as with the 1.4.4 and 1.4.5, you need Magic Launcher, and I have that link in my description. You can download the Magic Launcher. You also need to get Optifine, and Optifine, you actually need the version 1.4.6, HDU A2, which is basically the Ultra A2 version, and I've also posted a link to the download page for that as well. You need that correct version of Optifine or it will not work correctly. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your Magic Launcher and you want to click Setup. Now, I didn't show that part because I don't want to show off my username and all that, but once you get into Setup, you can see that you have a configuration called Default. First thing you want to do is make a new configuration and I usually just copy it from the default. And this one I'm going to call Shaders 2 because I already have a Shaders 1. And now you have your Shaders 2 configuration. Now the other thing you should have done is downloaded all these files. So you'll see over here I've got Magic Launcher downloaded and Optifine downloaded. Now we'll talk about the third file in a second, but I put them in my uh, my AppData Roaming Minecraft Mods folder. You can see them here. Now the other thing you need to download, and I'll open up a separate folder for this, is the version 10 RC6 from Sonic Ether, and actually when you extract this it will open up numerous other files one of which is a zip file which you want to put then here that's this file into your mods folder uh, it'll also give you a readme which is basically what I am going off of to show you this tutorial and a texture pack which you may or may not want to use it's Ovo's rustic texture pack which actually does not work with 1.4.6 it's actually missing textures I don't know why he included it in this pack but there you go. Okay, so let's minimize that and go back to Magic Launcher. Now, now that you've got these files in your mods folder of Minecraft, you should see them pop down here. Now, what I like to do is click Manage, and that basically opens up the same folder. Just make sure you've got them in there and close that out. And it should pop down here in these m files down here. They don't need to be active necessarily. But the next step you want to do is actually add them into this Shaders 2 Minecraft jar. So click Add, go to that Mods folder again, pick Optifine first. It should give you a status of OK. If everything's OK, you can also click Test to verify that. Next step is to add the Sonic Ethers zip file that is in the Sonic Ethers RAR file that you downloaded. There you go. And you're done. Now, once you click OK, it'll actually load Minecraft. And what it will do, too, is it actually will save this configuration. So then you can always go back in here and just pick this particular configuration for your mods and load it. So let us click OK. OK, so now that you've got everything installed and you've got your texture packs that you want, now you could have used Ovo's Rustic, but like I said, you'll be missing some textures on that one. Um, I actually have picked a texture pack uh, this fax BD craft and it's actually adjusted by Sildor and I put a link there in my description as well now let's just look at the default because I want to show you guys the default before we do any texture pack craziness just to show you that the default does in fact work so let's go into one of my worlds here now it may look a little bright and I think it is a little brighter than past iterations of this I think Sonic Ether has decided to brighten it up just a tad and I like that actually because it makes the dark areas not as dark and it makes it a little bit more playable in that respect but you can see it's the same old Sonic Ethers unbelievable shaders and I think he's actually done a great job uh, just tightening up this whole mod and making it that much better now one thing I didn't mention before and I'm sure a lot of people have this problem is you need to have a clean minecraft.jar before you attempt this mod uh, you'll have lots of problems if you don't I didn't mention that earlier but hopefully you've watched this far and you'll see that so as you can tell got all the shaders working here the trees are waving uh, the grass is waving of course got my little pagoda over there Millennium Falcon to show you off some of the shading here and as you can tell like I said, he didn't make it as extreme, the shadows, which I actually like. It's more subtle. Uh, so you can actually see that there's not like a hard line to the shadows. It's kind of just faded there. 
And at noon, it even looks a little better, I think, than it did before. So the other thing you want to make sure of is go into your Optifine settings, your video settings, and make sure that your fog is off. Make sure that you have anti-aliasing off. Make sure that you have anisotropic filtering off. Make sure that you have custom colors on. If you turn custom colors off, you'll notice that everything gets a lot brighter, which is not good. The other thing you want to do is make sure connected textures are off and make sure that your FOV is actually set to normal. Anything beyond that will kind of make things kind of wonky too. So that's that. Now let's take a look at uh, Sfax BD Craft because I think that that is pretty impressive when used with this particular mod, with a shader mod. Now keep in mind this actually, this particular shaders mod hasn't been updated by Sonic Ether since 1.3.1. So all of the videos I've been doing so far have actually just been modifications of Sonic Ether's 1.3.1. This is the first time he's released this mod in a long time with the help of Carionics on the forums. So, and they've done, they've just done an excellent job. So let me do time set zero again to give you an idea of what morning looks like. I like to look at morning because it shows you kind of the rays and all that. You can see the shadows creeping along here. And I really like this texture pack for the simple reason that it is bump mapped because Silver Sil Sil did that. I like that. I like that aspect of it. But I also like the texture pack just in general just because it's very cartoony. It seems to fit with Minecraft and I, I think it's probably one of the most popular texture packs out right now. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed my quick tutorial of Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders version 10, release candidate 6, his newest version. So hope you enjoyed and if you did please like and subscribe and watch some of my other videos. So thanks for joining me.